Uh, Dose to be 2019 Central Kenya ESK show open to farmers in Nyeri County today. This year's focus being how to improve farming through technology and a discussion on climate change. Farmers also have a chance to interact with organizations that are key in the farming value chain. Martin Munane is at uh, Kabiruini Stadium and brings us to speed on what's happening there. Martin Munane, good afternoon. What more can you tell us in as far as this um, advancement is concerned and what does it mean for the farmers there? All right, a very good uh, good afternoon to you, Sam. Uh, like you said, uh, we are in Kafiroine, and of course this year, one of the things that they are focusing on uh, in these particular shows is uh, technology, but not just technology, also alternative ways of farming. And uh, where I stand right now is a place where a not so very conventional uh, <laughs> method of farming is taking place. And I want just to show you uh, what I am seeing. Uh, here is a box, and this is a stand by the Dedan Kimathi University of Technology, oh, sorry, <laughs> Jomo Kenyatta University of of agriculture and technology all the way from Juja and as, as you can see there there are quite a number of snails now uh, what is happening here is that farmers are being taught uh, how they can be able to uh, you know farm and uh, make an extra shilling from snail farming as you can see and apart from that they're being actually told how to not only farm but what they can do with it uh, some next year is a meal and this meal I understand has been prepared uh, from uh, the snails that you have seen there and I just want uh, to bring in somebody uh, from this particular institution to help us understand because I'm seeing quite an, uh, uh, a number of other products here to help us understand what they are and uh, what they're for. A uh, very good afternoon to you. Kindly introduce yourself and tell us uh, what are these other things that I see here. Good afternoon to you too. My name is Ivy Rose, Department of Horticulture under Dr. Paul Kinoti, J.K. Watt. Today we are here sensitizing the farmers about um, the importance of venturing into snail farming based on the products that uh, the farming is able to give us. We have um, the rearing, actually, uh, we, we advocate for breeding them using organic products. They are, they, we mimic the natural um, environment. We feed them uh, using fruits and vegetables. Then um, we use them as meat. The shells are also used for beauty. The shells are ground and used as fish food. The shells are also ground, fortified with composts to make organic fertilizers. And lastly, the slime that is found from the snails are also used to make uh, gel and face creams, which is believed to have both medicinal properties and cosmetic properties. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, the most interesting thing about this uh, show by uh, Jay Kwatia is that even the slime in the snail has a purpose some um, i don't know uh, how comfortable you would be uh, using this particular cream uh, but it actually smells nice so it's something that you can use so for all the people who are looking for answers uh, you know for their beauty uh, questions snails are the answer for the farmer but also for the cosmetic industry and from your county i bring it back to you in studio sam martin